These are the dragons. Five of Britain's most fearsome business people. In business, I like to stack the cards in my favour. I am furious, annoyed, I think it's a disgrace. And if you try it, you're crazy. I'm out. But for the next three days, they'll be dropping their tough-talking, no-nonsense rivalry and pulling together to give this South London community centre a much-needed renovation for children in need. This is a deprived area. You know, drink and drugs is a problem on this estate, but Middle Park Community Centre is the heart of the community. We don't ever shut the door. The door is always open. It's not about cash. The Dragons will have to rely on their powers of persuasion and some high-profile business contacts if they're to save this crumbling centre. The younger kids, if they're not in the centre, they'd be on the streets and they'd be able to get more influence into the gangs. If the centre weren't here, like, I think I'd be out just causing trouble to have fun like, like I used to. The Dragons aren't used to failure, but the stakes are high. Could this be their most important investment so far? Day one, and a chance for the dragons to see with their own eyes the sheer scale of the job they've taken on. What's the problems with it? I mean, just look, you can see yeah. everything is totally Rot wrong. So, so we got yeah, rotting. It, the roof is absolutely peppered with holes. Oh, my God, Duncan, look at that. Yeah. I mean, it probably needs a new toilet. Quite a pain. There's a bit of damp in there, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. all filthy. But this definitely needs refurbishing, no question. It badly needs all updating. Uh, the units are quite grotty. This cooker, yeah, it works when it wants to, and it's seen better days. What we, do you we, cook? What do you do in the kitchen? Right, the, you... the children have their breakfast in here. Right. Uh, we do lunches for pensioners. Yeah. And how many meals have you got to cook off that cooker? Uh, probably about 90. <gasps> yeah. It's a big challenge, James. I don't know if we can do that. This is scary. The dragons have their work cut out. The kitchen must be gutted. This wall has to come down for a purpose-built catering facility to be created in its place. These old toilets need ripping out and a whole new suite refitted. The centre needs an entire new roof. And the kids are going to get a state-of-the-art recording studio instead of this jam-packed storage room. The building must be repaired, updated and repainted. It's a mammoth task. Well, Pat and Lynn, we've had a look around. I think we know what we're going to do, but we cannot do it on our own. So we've brought in some reinforcements. <laughs> Come on, everybody! With just three days to renovate the whole community centre, the Dragons have called upon a unique resource. Come on, you lot! We've got loads to do and only 72 hours to do it! An army of the Den's most dynamic entrepreneurs who'll work alongside specialist tradesmen and volunteers from the local community all have one goal, to transform this community centre for good. Just 20 minutes in, and the to-do list is about to get even bigger. It's a bit close, isn't it? <laughs> they were going to get a new wall. It's what they call a minor glitch. But it's not long before the dragons regain control. Who's doing the music room? I'm doing the music room. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm overseeing the electrics. Who's doing the roof? Is there anybody roofer? Is it you? Yeah, Get right. over here. I'll do the toilets. I'm, I'm good at toilets. I'll sort this out. Fantastic. You guys, Theo and I are going to do the wall, but we need you to clear out the kitchen for us. This Theo's like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> Multi millionaire, and there he is, smashing your vinyls out. He needs a man. Okay. Come on! Are we not keeping that? No. Yes. After just two hours, the community centre has become a fully-fledged building site. Oh, we're working on the chain gang! 22-year-old Reggie has been coming to the centre since he was eight and now works there as a sports coach. So, what does the community centre mean to you personally? I know it sounds a little bit of cliché, but for, for most young people here, it's hope, you know? 
it, it shows people that, you know, they look at people like me now and, and see us as role models and they say, you know, if, if he lived here and he can be a, um, a coach, you know, and obviously get a job from it and earn a career from it, why can't I? Do you think this has changed your life path? Definitely, Do you think definitely. It's... As a kid, you're taught that in order to be successful in an area like this, to make money, you have to sell drugs, you know? And being here just give, opens the doors and shows you that that's not the only way. We're right up against the time. The clock is ticking every minute of the day. Three days is not a long time to do this complete refurb job. This is day one. You know, it's just looked around. God, oh, sorry. It's day two, and it's finally dawned on the dragons just what a huge task they're facing. It looks like a building site. We're never going to be done, are we? With just 48 hours to go, the dragons have started to pull a few executive strings. Oh, hi. It's Deborah Meaden here from, from Dragon's Den. I'm calling Philip Green. He's the man for the sofas. The real Deborah Meaden. It is the real Deborah Meaden, yes. We just need a sofa for, for the kids here. Can you help us? Yeah. I've got a present for you. What is it? The donations are coming in thick and fast, but the centre desperately needs a new cooker, and all the dragon's favours have been called in. We're going to struggle with the cooker, but you know what? I've been given a job. And that is? To clean. But the top stuff, not all the rings on the top work. For some no, reason. I'm going to fix them. Tea, guys. Tea's up. Coffee, tea, darling. It's halfway through the project, but just as the building is starting to take shape, Disaster strikes. This is the main generator for the site. There's obviously a lot to relying on this, and it's gone. This is the second time it's gone down this morning, and it's out. While the team frantically try to restore power to the site, Deborah Meaden has a plan to haul the project back on track. Yeah, still flashing. We're losing time. We cannot afford to lose time. We're behind. We need. We need people. I know who I can call. You, I could count on you. Oh, do you hear that sound? The sound of a working generator. The Royal Marines may have helped, but the build is still behind schedule. Everyone is mucking in. Well, almost everyone. Some just seem to be mucking about. I think... <laughs> I think, I think I'm going to... It's a fire! <laughs> I think... Oh, no! Oh, that's terrible. This room is key to the refurbishment. It's to be a fully working recording studio where the kids can hone their musical skills. So what sort of lyrics do you do? Well, we... There is no negativity, it's all really positive. Where so many kids have problems around Middle Park, you can come and maybe you can write down your lyrics and how you feel. Give me an example. Middle Park in the woods. Middle Park in the woods, we got a Middle Park in the woods, we got the sun is shining and we're feeling good. So, what do you think of all this? Um, yeah, it's brilliant. The best thing that's happened to us, really. It would be fantastic because everything will be not smelly like it used to be a bit. So it'll be. So the spirits may be high. Let's get this job done. Hey! But with just 24 hours to go, do the dragons have enough time to turn this project around? None of this here is what we ordered at all. Well, we've got 12 hours. <laughs> 